zone. But, and one of the problems from that was when we would ask about weapons of mass destruction, he would say, oh, well, I stopped that in 1989. And then you would say, but Saddam, right up until the first Gulf War, we found that you had a program that was close to being near completion. He said, oh, well, yes, yes, but after the Gulf War, I stopped it. And then we would say, well, what about 1995, when Hussein Kamel defected, and there, you showed us all those documents that were on, the, on his chicken farm? He said, oh, of course, of course, uh, but after 95. Uh, so you were never sure sometimes what he was saying was the truth or not. But based on talking to him, talking to a number of his advisors, and all of the captured documentation, and the, and the fact that we never found anything, I, w I came to the conclusion that he was not uh, going to start another program. And, and you also uh, asked him about chemical weapons that are uh, being used on his own people, yes. and you were surprised and later confirmed what he said. Yes, I did. I, that was shocking. Because one of the one of the arguments made for the war was that he had used weapons of mass destruction on his people, and when I talked to him, and he got very upset, probably the angriest he ever got with me, during the, my time with him, he said that he did not order weapons, to, chemical weapons, to be used in Halabja uh, against the Kurds. I have to admit, I didn't believe him at the time. Um, when I went back to Washington, I started looking into this a little more deeply. I started reading some of the um, uh, debriefings of other senior government aides. They corroborated that story, and then there, we found documentation uh, from the Iraqis that also corroborated that. It was a battlefield decision made by an Iraqi commander at the scene, and Sa Saddam actually was um, angry at the commander for having made that decision largely because the, the, the use of the chemical weapons was in PUK territory, they were allied with Iran, and he was afraid that Iran would make hay out of this with the international media.